having said that uh, that flooring might be a major um, determinant in the um, in the overall color scheme, the light reflectance value uh, of the flooring uh, will determine where you can go with uh, the doors, with the wall colors, and so on. So, let's suppose that. Um, the flooring has a light reflectance value of say uh, 11, then uh, you're, you've got plenty of scope really for your, um, your wall colours because you, you can go anywhere above 11. You would need to go 30 points above for your wall, um, but you've, you've actually got quite a lot of scope. My own experience of um, of colour schemes is that you normally you normally need to put three steps of of colour contrast into a scheme, so that if you're starting from 11, you're then up to 41, and then you're up to 71. So your door, for instance, might be 41 but your wall, ideally, might be 71. And actually, within 71, you've got quite a lot of scope in the lighter area on each of these triangles. Um, if you're looking at colours that are about 11, they'll be down in the bottom area of this triangle. So, so you'll, you'll choose your colours from, from here, from here, and from here. But there will be three steps, and sometimes, uh, sometimes those steps can be difficult to make. Um, generally, with carpets, uh, the light reflectance value is quite low. But if you're looking at um, linoleum or, or vinyl, the the choice is much more extensive in uh, in flooring. And you might well choose something that is, is, uh, is a higher um, light reflectance value, which means then you've got to look at going perhaps below that. So um, probably to, to be realistic, you're, you know, the highest uh, light reflectance value you're going to get is, is white. Let's say, let's say a white paint might be um, a white paint or a white laminate or a white ceiling might be as high as 90, but in practice it could probably be anywhere between 75 and 90. So you can see immediately the numbers are telling you that um, there are problems when you want to make three steps uh, of, of colour contrast. It is quite difficult uh, to achieve the right amount of visual contrast and to uh, achieve what you're looking for as, uh, as a creative specifier. It is quite difficult, but since Part M came in in October 2004, uh, I think manufacturers have been looking very carefully at the colour ranges they, they have to offer and uh, particularly in the area of, of flooring and of stair nosings, um, there has seen to be, be a need for um, a wider spread of availability of, um, of, of colours with different degrees of colour contrast. Uh, it can look extremely crude to um, to just take the obvious choice for, uh, for 30 points of contrast. But it, it certainly is possible to, to achieve something that, that meets the requirements and looks good. Within the natural colour system, we have a number of, um, a number of products that are particularly useful to specifiers who are working with colour contrast. Uh, we, have, we have what's called colour contrast kit, uh, a little measuring instrument which will, will give you the, 
colour reference and the light reflectance value very quickly. So that's very useful for, um, for doing building assessments and so on. But then working with the colours, there are 1950 standard colours that are available in paint from all of the major manufacturers. Um, carpet manufacturers will use these as standards if they're making up specials for you. The laminate companies, ceramic tile companies, hard flooring companies, many, many different types of companies, um, including, of course, stair nosings, use this system to reference their colour ranges. So it's, if you like, um, a central colour system for many, many different types of products. Because it's a colour standard, the, uh, the items, the atlas that I've got in front of me now, and the index, which is a swatch book, these are available to buy, and they can be bought from our website or by phoning our office. We're NCS Colour Centre, and our website is ncscolour.co.uk. And on our website, um, there's lots of information about the system, but we also offer uh, advice on many, many aspects of, of colour for specifiers. One of the features on our website is a list of NCS partners, which can be very useful. This lists all of the companies who are licensed um, in the UK and elsewhere to use the NCS system in uh, manufacturing their colours and in notating their colours. So uh, the contact details for those companies are there and it's quite a, quite a useful quick reference. Another feature is online training. So uh, if you don't already know about the NCS system, you'll find uh, there are three free access online training CPD modules. And um, if you want to know more about colour, you're, you're very welcome to, to call us. Um, we're not a large organisation and you'll get through straight away to somebody who hopefully can answer your question. And um, we also offer uh, full day courses. We offer these at intervals during the year. And we offer a range of colour consultancy. And this might be to manufacturers, to local authorities, to individual architects' practices, a, a whole range of uh, colour consultancy services. But in the first place, don't be afraid to ask a question. Um, it's often an, an easy answer and uh, we can usually point you in the right direction.